Welcome again, everybody. It's uh, been a long time since I posted my last clip. Uh, this would be a good case to uh, return back uh, to our activities. Uh, since we have uh, lots of uh, juniors and students asking about several things uh, regarding chest radiographs, uh, I'd uh, chosen this case, which is also a very good case for uh, reminding uh, myself and other seniors about a few tricks uh, not to miss abnormalities on a chest radiograph. This is a young uh, patient who presents with fever and cough. The ER physician is sending you the case to exclude pneumonia. This is the frontal chest radiograph. And here's the lateral radiograph. Now this is a different normal case before we proceed with the abnormalities on the other symptomatic patient. Now, to those who did not notice an abnormality on that abnormal case, the first thing that we have to emphasize is that there is lung behind the heart. Don't forget that. So when you assess the lung parenchyma for pneumonia, don't forget to look in the retrocardiac regions, which has lung as well. The general rule is that the density on each side should be equal. So after you look at the lung parenchyma, you compare the symmetry bilaterally, try to look at the retrocardiac regions. Imagine that you have a midline separating both retrocardiac areas on the right and on the left, and make sure that the density behind the heart, excluding all those tiny vessels and the spine, make sure that that density is equal on each side. That was the first observation. Now let's go to the lateral chest radiograph on the same normal case. A normal lateral radiograph finding is that the density high up here is always more white than the density lower down here. Now the reason you see that in a normal case is because even though the patient tries to remove the arm and the shoulder away from the uh, field of view, you still have the uh, shoulder structures projecting over the upper lungs on the lateral chest radiograph. While down here, you only see the darkness of normal lung. That's why the density as you go from above, below, over the spine has to become darker and darker, meaning that the density decreases. Now to make this uh, point stick, uh, notice that this here is a rounded bony structure, right? This bone structure represents one side where you could see the humerus. Sometimes you could see both humeri projecting over the upper lung. This humerus with the shoulder joint and the surrounding soft tissues project over the upper lung and that's what makes the upper lung on the lateral chest radiograph over the spine region more white. Emphasizing this again, the density over the spine on a lateral chest radiograph should decrease as you go from superior to inferior. So it's more white above, more dark below. If that is not the case, meaning that you compare the darkness in the lower lung to that above, and you see that the sign is reversed, meaning that you have more white here compared to what's above here, this is called the spine sign. And it tells you that there is an abnormality that looks white in the lower lung, commonly pneumonia, but could be anything else. Now let's try and apply the uh, two rules that we talked about on the case that was symptomatic and uh, suspicious for pneumonia. If you did not apply these two rules, it would be very difficult to detect the following abnormality. Look at the retrocardiac area, compare it on both left and right side. Here it's a bit tough to compare on the right side because the patient is uh, mildly rotated where you don't see most of the right side of the heart, but you could see that there is an additional abnormality that's more than what's expected for just vessels. There is an opacity in the left retrocardiac region. Now that you suspected a left lower lobe pneumonia given the left retrocardiac opacity on the frontal chest radiograph, you could try to confirm that on the lateral chest radiograph. 
what you could do is try and apply the other sign, the supine sign that we talked about. Now, this abnormal case shows that the density here is really more darker than what you see in the lower lungs, despite the difficulty of the sign, but if you apply it, it's a positive finding that confirms what you suspected on the frontal radiograph. So, if you go over the spine from superior to inferior, you'll notice that this here is more dark, while it's a slightly more white in the lower lungs, telling you that there is indeed a lower lobe abnormality. To recap what we talked about, pneumonia is a common clinical uh, diagnosis which is frequently sent to you uh, to uh, exclude on a chest radiograph. It could be easy, like in many cases, but in some cases you have to look at hidden areas. The two hidden areas that we talked about today are one on the frontal chest radiograph. Make sure the density on each side of the midline is equal, especially in the retrocardiac region. The other hidden area is looking at the spine on the lateral chest radiograph. The density over the spine should be more white above, more black below, and if that's not the case, it confirms that there is a lower lung abnormality. Thanks for watching and see you with more cases later.